She manages, of course, the WBA Cruiserweight Champion, Fabrice Tioso, still thinks that this boy has potential. At the weigh-in, Blasi weighed 79 kilograms and uh, Jean-Marc Mormek 78.4. The referee, Mr. Charles Chinook, is in charge of this bout. One bout after this to come as well, another in the light middle department, which we will tell you about a little later. Find instructions before away we go. Now we could be in for another explosive encounter here. And don't blink, you may miss it. This promises to be, and of course, as soon as we say that, it probably won't be. But from previous records, it looks likely to be. An exciting encounter. By C13 contests, eight wins, four draws, and one defeat, and as we said, eight inside the distance. away through the uh, through the guard and you can see very little distance between the two fighters almost toe-to-toe -to -toe right from the out here and that was a solid shot to the forehead by Mormek and again the right hand a little low. And neither conceding any ground at all and don't expect them to change course throughout the uh, throughout the fight. And it's a real punch vest in the middle there. That's a great shot with the right hand again and they're fighting their way straight through or straight behind the defense one goes in again from Bormek These are not fights for the purists, but public just want to see heads rolling, and these are the fights they like to see. Toe to toe, and two people just prepare to punch until the other one falls to the floor. And trying to pick a winner out of these two is no easy choice. Again, mutual respect at the end of the first round. And 
will make just going back into his corner, receiving uh, the instructions that would you would uh, imagine were to possibly move a little. And uh, Fulan Baxi, French of Turkish origin, 28 years of age. One draw. Seven inside the distance. It's eight, six, two, and four of Mormek. Now, so taking a couple of really good shots inside that first round, Mormek is beginning to assert a little more authority over the proceedings as we continue here and the distance between the two fighters is I was just about to say it was somewhat further apart as Moormakers elected to put some daylight in between them and try and use a little of the reach advantage that he does have it's only slight but it's still an advantage nonetheless. That's a good shot there. But again, it just came off the side of the glove rather than the, the head. But that one found a way through there, the right hand that time from Mormek. And uh, the gum shield is out. Instructions were being yelled from this corner to uh, Mormek to jab the move, but then he's coming in once again with a nice snappy right hand that's got and again. And Baxi is just dropping his guard, he's allowing those punches through. Which is of course a concern over his his corner as they're yelling as well. But he likes to get in close to that Baxi. Likes to get a little bit closer, likes it as it was in the first round. And he can use a little more of his superior strength to hustle his man out of his stride. Once more, this time Mormack be elected to go with the left of the body. And on the stand of the right hand from Mormack again, finding the head of Baxi. coming back with a, a right hand of his own which found Mormek's guard dropped Mutual respect shown at the end of the round. A good round over for Momek. Adri Havagabal was having the run of things to run back seat in the uh, first round. David Ghetto, the European flyweight champion there. That on his own. Sure, he has more friends than that. Now I look back at some of his action from the round. And again, that was the punch that took the uh, mouth guard out. And Mormek looks a little more at home when the work isn't totally at close quarters. Whereas Banksy 